what's what's up this is ron here welcome back to another video and today is a very important day because today i am introducing a new game to this channel and the name of the game is final fantasy ever crisis developed by by renowned developers from square enix this is quite a famous name in mobile gaming world and this is kind of important for me because i have been playing gacha games for a while and it is uh, not easy to start a new gacha game because there is a lot of games around and sometimes it is really confusing because a lot of gacha game will start in a very big way and after a year or two when they fail to make enough money they have to stop their servers that becomes pretty much annoying but that's a common issue in mobile gacha gaming world so you know i just uh, wanted to take some time to do some research before starting a game i just wanted to have a solid uh, a game with a solid background uh, with a, you know with the developers or publishers who have a kind of kind of solid financial background that they don't have to worry about anything and down the line they can maintain the game for several years with well maintenance server upgradation and everything that's needed to maintain a mobile game these days so i found this game final fantasy ever crisis this game has been released only this year this is still new i think a parts of uh, the game is still you know improving uh, for example they haven't really released any pc client yet but the pc client is still under process and probably uh, by the middle of next year we can use the PC client for this game as well and that's why I couldn't uh, you know make a video with my face with the cam because I cannot play this one in my laptop or my PC so that's the basic introduction about the game now let's see what we have in this game and as you can see this account is entirely new only today I started this account I haven't really played anything much but what I can tell you that uh, the structure and the uh, you know you know functions of this game is not really too much different from, uh, for example, games like King of Fighters Ulster. There are certain resemblance. For example, there are stories. As a new player, you can play these stories and from a, from a lot of lot of these blue shards. That is the main currency of this game. This is known as blue crystal. And there is also another currency that is known as the red crystal. Red crystal you can buy from uh, from the game by paying real money. And blue crystals you can farm by playing different game modes, doing your dailies and weekly missions. And this is basically your free currency. But basically there is no difference between these two crystals. And combat wise, I must say this game offers a really really great experience. Look at the amount of details and the animations guys. Pretty solid and like looks like there has been a lot of work done behind these movements and graphics. Really amazing guys. And of course, this nice 50 blue crystals guy. And as you can see, there are most of the things are locked. So you need to play the stories in order to proceed further and unlock these contents. But on the very beginning, you have already access to the dailies. If you, just, you need to just go to this mission tab and you'll see a bunch of missions known as jumpstart, daily, weekly campaigns and general. So these missions are going to give you uh, those rewards and items that you need to farm to get new characters, improve the existing characters and so on and so forth. Nothing really new mechanism. The dailies will give you a bunch of these uh, blue crystals. As you can see, you'll be getting 50 uh, blue crystal if you play your daily missions every day. And there are these weekly missions that will give you 100 of these uh, blue crystals when you complete all these weekly missions and next there are campaigns as you can see there is a bunch of bunch of these rewards that you can do simply by playing these game modes 
and so in the general as well but as a new player i would be focusing on the dailies mainly and the weeklies as well and i'll be doing these jump start missions whenever i am having the time and another interesting part about uh, starting this game right now is a collaboration is already going if you tap on here you see this collaboration final fantasy 9 crossover is going on right now this is a great great uh, opportunity to get some extra new rewards in order to start this game in a very decent way and they are also uh, allowing us free 10x summons every single day guys free 10x summons every single day I already did my summons and I got two 5 star weapons today. 5 star weapons are very very essential in this game. That is the highest uh, starred weapon and the most powerful weapon. However, there are different categories of 5 star weapon which I will discuss in some other videos. But as a new player, don't forget to uh, do these free summons every single day. And these summons will be always available in this draw section and if you go ahead to the shop section let me just show you that there are some decent rewards for you as well if you go to this ff9 crossover pack then you will see that there is a certain item that i have already bought this is entirely for free you will be getting a bunch of useful items but this will cost nothing and once again if you go to this special section you will find another item that i already bought this is also entirely for free these free stuff is going to give you a ton of ton of useful materials to help you progress in the game. Now let's talk about briefly about the gacha system. The gacha system is also nothing really uh, unique in its operation. And let me just show you the details that basically there are two PTs in each and every gacha. There will be in total there will be 12 summons if you can do in you will be getting a free guaranteed five star weapon on your sixth summon and on your 12th summon you'll be getting guaranteed the skin or costume that you are going after of course you can get the weapon and the you know uh, costume before this sixth or 12th summons but that totally depends on your luck for sure and in the current collaboration banner these are the recent items that arrived in the game look at this amazing costume for cloud and this costume is known as zidane zidane also has a weapon this is the zidane sword it's a great weapon this is going to deal 650 percent physical attack which is way better than the previous version and also we have costume for an uh, no, amaranth costume for tifa and also this Amaranth's Claw and each and every of this 10x draw will need 3000 of crystal that can be blue crystal or that can be red crystal it depends on how you play the game that means for a guaranteed 5 star weapon you will be needing 18,000 crystals and for a guaranteed uh, costume or skin you will be needing uh, uh, 36,000 crystals and of course you need to uh, define your choice of weapons before doing the summons but of course the feature weapons weapon is usually selected but since i have just joined the game and i don't really have enough of these crystals so probably i'm going to skip this banner and i'm just going to you know uh, farm the stories uh, as much as i can and this banner is going to last one month that is uh, December 12 until December 12 this banner is going to last so we'll try and see how far we can go with this farming and also I forgot to mention that there are two ads right in this corner if you go and watch this ad every single day you'll be getting 100 of these blue crystals every single day so that was my uh, brief video on Final Fantasy ever crisis starting this game i think this game play wise it is uh, not really difficult but the content is really great especially the battles the graphics the animations they are really really top notch so let me know what you think about this game and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends